Namaste. Welcome to the space. Sending you wellness wherever you are on your journey. Hopefully, I can help somebody with this message. This one gonna be for Aries. Let's get into it for Aries. Okay, thank you. So we got the Knight of Wands, Nine of Swords, the Hermit, Seven of Cups, the Nine of Cups, Six of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Fool. Oh, oh. Page or the Knight of Pentacles. for Aries this week I'm seeing you like I said you, you see your cards so let's see let's get into it <sighs> you impatient because something is big is getting ready to happen but it's also like you know you're ready for something here is what I'm seeing with the knight of wands because the knights represents like movement okay and something's been feels like you're, you've been ready for for a long time here, okay? With the Ten of Cups, okay? There's something, some, something about a fresh path, a fresh start, something like that here, okay? The past could be coming up here for Aries at this time. Something about not being in wish fulfillment right now. Or you thinking that it's not because it didn't show up within this little package the way that you wanted it to be, maybe with the Nine of Cups in reverse. That's what I'm picking up. We got the Seven of Cups. You got so many options. You don't think you do. You stuck on one, one option instead of seeing you got multiple options and to pick wisely according to the multiple options instead of being stuck on just one person or one thing. When there's so much more to life is what I'm seeing with the Seven of Cups in reverse. You know what I'm saying? You know how sometimes we could just get very small-minded about a thing, you know, especially when it comes to our person, Aries, because, you know, like any other fire sign, we are very possessive over, okay. Okay, so with the Hermit here in reverse, Aries, you could be getting ready to get serious with somebody. If not, this is more so just the energy of you coming out of a period of isolation here for you, Aries. You also got the Nine of Swords in reverse. So whatever was holding you back from the past, I see you kind of like um, moving on and not allowing that to hold you back. Okay, this is what I'm seeing for Aries at the time. Let's go ahead and get some clarifiers for all of this energy, for all of the things that's coming coming out here for Aries. <clears throat> okay, trusting yourself. I'm getting that here for you. Clarifying the nine of swords, whatever's trapping you, learning how to trust in yourself. Okay, some of you guys, Aries, I feel like you even working on yourself even more to where now a wish or something you ask for is being granted with this nine of cups. And it might not be coming in, like I said, in exactly the packaging or the way that you perceived it to be. But it actually is exactly what you were asking for. Some sort of something about wish fulfillment here with Nine of Cups energy. Go in reverse. Okay. See what I'm saying? What's the hermit at this time for Aries? Who did I say this was? I, I don't even remember. The Hermit? Yeah, what's the Hermit? In reverse. Some of you guys, I don't know. This feels like you're not even looking for this. Because you see how I just got distracted? It's like you're going to be doing your thing, Aries, with the Hermit in reverse. But it's like this is a connection that you don't even see coming. It just happens. I'm here like thrown in the mix. Like, okay. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Hmm. The Ten of Swords, yeah, wow. You may not see this coming is what I'm seeing here. Definitely. Something about surprise here, okay, here for some of you guys. 
for the most part, this is like a cycle or something being over in your life or some sort of chapter, okay, in your life from the past, okay, being over. Um, what is it with the Seven of Cups? You got a lot of options, Aries. That's why you can't kind of slow down on some of you guys. You won't slow down. You won't settle. You won't pick one of these cups. Aries. <laughs> I'm having emotion. <laughs> Queen of Wands in reverse. Oh, yeah. One day I think you'll, you'll get better, you know? I think you'll get around to finding that. And I think it's in this moment when you kind of like not even... Because I feel like even right now you're not looking. And so this could be something, like I said, it just smacks you in the face. This new connection, this new whatever, okay? Something new here. It feels like a connection. Or something you ask for here. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Page of Pentacles could be more money. Aries, I'm going to kick your ass. Aries, like, I don't, I don't want that bitch. Seven of Wands, protecting your heart. Very guarded. Seven of Wands, okay? Is your energy right now. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You feel like people after your money, they're lazy. They don't want to work for their own shit. you like, man, look, I'm not about to take care of nobody. What's the Six of Cups? Because you, you've seen that. You've watched that in your some sort of paradigm or something in your family, friends, whatever. And maybe within yourself, in your own relationships. And it's just for you. Yeah, no. No. Something about never again caring for Aries. <laughs> What's the Ten of Cups? No, tell me what the uh thing in the past because these motherfuckers. What is this for the past for Aries with the Six of Cups? And then it landed right on the Six of Cups. See what I'm saying? The devil in reverse. Ooh, child. So yeah. You ain't ever going back to your past or things that haunted you or haunted other people that you've seen going through stuff, whatever. Ten of Cups for Aries in reverse. What is this energy? What is this? The lovers in the Knight of Cups. I'm telling you. Somebody interested in you. Somebody fuck with you. Something like that. And you might not be giving this person a chance just because you're not happy or right within. Ten, ten of Cups. But at least you got a good goddamn sense not to play with nobody's emotions. So that I will give you a star for that one. But there is somebody here. I don't know if you're going to let them in. Okay, because I see the lovers of Knight of Cups. Okay. The sun. It could be fun. Aries. I don't know. What do you want me to say, Aries? You're such a Debbie Downer. Not, I can't even say these days. Aries, you always my sad uh, sister. You know? With the four cups here. You don't want to be. It's just your natural energy that you exude. <laughs> you can't help it. The four cups in reverse, okay? So there's something here you're refusing here. You could be refusing something that new that's getting ready to come in here, okay? Blocking something here. Walking away. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune. Absolutely not. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I just really see you focus on um, getting to where you want to be financially and trying to find happiness in some sort of little blurs of whatever consciousness. <laughs> Uh, reality that that is. I don't know. Something about here with strength here showing up again. Okay. Or I'm tripping. That wasn't even y'all. That was um the last sign got strength. But y'all got strength here. Something about strength in reverse. You feeling weak. 
you're not feeling like i want to say this isn't your normal self but this actually is it's just a different part of you another layer to you it's love coming in i mean i don't think you're gonna let it in but it's love around you let's say okay it's close it's just something about not picking the you know you got to pick the right one type shit with you aries you know what i'm saying because y'all be picking and then be first one to cry talk talk some shit Put in a love song. Put that shit on paper. Some wax or some shit. You feel me? Make that shit go gold. Plat you know? Something like that. You heard me? Like, so, I don't know. Whatever the fuck it is. I love you. Bye.